happy Wednesday. Okay, so we're mid-May. I hope all of you moms had a great Mother's Day. We've got a fun holiday coming up, Memorial Day weekend, which I personally love because my birthday is right before. And also, it's one of my favorite times of year. I just love summer and it's really important to me to spend a whole lot of time with family over the summer to create memories it's also <clears throat> a time to replenish and just enjoy life right uh, i grew up in rochester new york where summertime felt like freedom to feel the sun and go to the lakes and get in water and um, go to beaches and all that sort of thing. And I want that for you too. I see so many wellness entrepreneurs overworking and exhausted and they're missing these moments to create fun summertime, uh, summertime fun, fun summertime memories with their family because they're teaching classes late into the evening, they're in the studios late in the evening. They're saying yes to all these last minute subbing jobs because everyone else is on vacation. Uh, everyone else is traveling and doing fun day adventures on the weekends and you're like stuck holding up all the plates and you're thinking, Oh, I, sh I should be doing this. I have to do this to continue to pay the expenses, to get visibility, dot, 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 right? So yes, there are times possibly that you do want to say yes to subbing classes. There are times, yes, when for sure you need to sit down and do work in your business. It should not be at the cost of sacrificing time with your family or at the cost of sacrificing time for replenishment yourself because you know what ends up happening is you don't create a sustainable business. You create a business where you're always looking forward to like, oh, next summer. Next summer will be the summer I go on a family trip. Next summer will be the summer where I don't work past five o'clock and I take my kids, you know, here in Encinitas, we can go to the beach uh, till the sun goes down, right? So I'll take my kids to the beach after their camps, right? So you're always saying next year or in five years or whatever. The time is now, right? The time is now. It's learning how to do this right now to carve out boundaries of when you're going to work and when you're going to turn off your entrepreneurial brain and actually enjoy life. That number one creates a sustainable business for years to come. So you're not always hustling and rushing or putting this pressure on your business, this expectation on your business to deliver income and clients and students and revenue right now or looking, hustling towards the future and not enjoying life right now. None of that leads to fulfillment. And we're gonna learn how in a free workshop I have coming up June 3rd, so it's right after Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I'll drop the link in the comments here when I finish. The thing is, I lost my train of thought, is, uh, Hold on one second here. So if you sign up for this workshop, what we're gonna go over is, I got it now, I got it, just give me a minute. You know, sometimes these things happen. I've got a human brain, just like you. So what we're gonna go over is how to create an ideal schedule, one that creates sustainable st sustainability in your business, one that you wake up in the morning and you look forward towards your days. One where you feel fulfilled because yes, you're fulfilling your calling, your messages, and you're getting to spend time with family. Like you can be the one taking a picture of your kid with purple popsicle all over their face and sandy legs and arms where you're, you're like, oh my gosh, this kid needs a bath but we're not leaving yet because the sun has not gone down. You can be there for those moments, right? Because I don't want your kid to turn 18 
and you're saying goodbye to them as they go off to college or eventually when they move out of your house to be look back and when they're six when they're nine and be like oh my gosh I miss those moments because I was saying yes to all those subbing classes or I was forcing myself to stay in the office to get my to-do list done or I felt like I wasn't getting enough done right that is what will lead to regret that's what leads to a lot of guilt and we're gonna prevent that and here is the thing so if you look on the registration page to sign up for this workshop it's free you'll say you'll see create more time for fun this summer and earn more revenue and it seems like a lofty goal. Like, how can I create more revenue if I'm not spending more time in my business? Because it's a societal thing. It's something we've learned that when we do more, when we spend more time, then we'll create more revenue. But that mindset, that philosophy is outdated. And truthfully, here's the thing. If you disrupt that pattern, if you break that habit of hustling and overworking to create more revenue in your business, and instead you start putting in these sometimes uncomfortable boundaries of turning off your brain, not reaching for your phone, putting your laptop away, and spending those day trips to the beach with your family instead, for example, you'll start Monday off feeling more energized, replenished. Your brain will be working at a higher caliber. It'll be more efficient. You'll problem solve with greater ease. You'll be more creative. If you do one-on-one -on -one sessions like I do, your clients, your patients will feel your energy. You'll be able to problem solve for them on a higher level. You'll be able to coach them and see the root sources of their problems with more ease when you're rested, when you're enjoying life. So it's not about doing more. And that's how if you actually just learn how to fix your schedule for the summer so you can have more fun and more enjoyment through that process, you'll learn how to create more revenue. And in this workshop, I will teach you the specific strategies. So it's not so esoteric thing where you're like, oh, okay, I'll just put these boundaries on here and then I'll show up to my business. There's very tactical ways to show up to your business so you're going in with the mindset that the work that, the trust as well, that the work you're gonna do will lead to the impact you desire. So you're not just showing up to do busy work. You're not just showing up to post on social media, right? There's a specific way that you're gonna show up to work with a belief and a trust. So you're doing the work when you're at work. So for example, if four o'clock is the time that you wanna go pick up your kids from camp and then go to the beach or the park before sunset, you can turn off your brain and you feel satisfied. You feel complete with a good day's work done. I, and that's my goal for you. So I'll be teaching these strategies in the free workshop. It's June 3rd. You can, get, um, you can save your spot for more fun and to fix your schedule by just clicking the link in the comments here below. Um, if you really struggle with this, I know. How do I know this works? Because Personally, if you've been following me for a long time, I know some of you have, you've probably seen me teach yoga teacher trainings, teach yoga classes, teach yoga workshops on the evenings, in on the weekends, during the summertime, right? I was that wellness wellnesspreneur that thought the more I did, the more I showed up, the more I hustled, then the quicker I would grow. And it was really self-sabotaging. And sometimes I would take my daughter to some of these trainings. I look back to uh, some of my earlier years and I am leading trainings with my daughter in her ergo pack, <laughs> sweating, because it's summertime. And if you've ever carried those packs, they're hot, right? Because it's baby heat and your heat all together, right? 
So it was not the best combination. And it did work, right? I was profitable on paper. However, it was not a sustainable business model. And so some of you had seen me shift from that, from getting my Lynch syndrome diagnosis, my cancer diagnosis, to an awakening of realizing like I have a choice. I actually have a choice to decide how I wanna show up in my business and what I want to do. I have a choice for my future. And I called my power back. I stepped into my power. And I'm not saying it was a comfortable thing, but it was simple. I just decided that I'm gonna start to change my schedule right now. And I did, and I had to make some very difficult decisions. However, the benefit of that is now this summer, like you've seen last summer, my daughter and I, we went to Zion. We had a wonderful time. We have fun stories of telling how I drove with my daughter. We took a girls bonding trip and she still talks about she's six but she remembers it very vividly, and I really hope as she ages, she continues. But she remembers us driving to Zion. I have a little Honda Fit, and the air conditioning doesn't work so well, and if you ever have drone, I drove, if you have, let me know. Uh, from San Diego to Utah in the summertime, it's pretty stinking hot, and you have to time it. Like, we left, when we drove back, I got up at four in the morning, and left Utah at that time because on the way there, when we drove through Nevada and Vegas, it was smoking hot. And if my air conditioning doesn't work, I was literally pouring water over my head while I was driving because also <laughs> it was my first summer being in menopause coming off of my, my surgery. So I was dealing with hot flashes for the first time as well. It was quite an experience and we laugh about it to this day and we laugh about getting up so early in the morning and driving back and when it was dusk o hours, we created so many memories on that trip and we and also we had some uh, family camping trips with my husband. We went for long weekends. That's his favorite thing to do. So we created so many memories last summer and I'm looking forward to this summer. We're going to, uh, Kaylee and I are doing our girls trip to New York. We're going to see one of my good friends from elementary school and meet her children. There's, and we're going to go camping again. There's just so many fun things. We're going to go to the beach on the weekend here in Encinitas. What can you do? What can you do, right? And the best part of it all is I get to still show up for you and do the work that I love and I feel so much more energized. I look forward to my days instead of waking feeling exhausted and tired. And I want that for you too. So if you're interested, just sign up for the workshop. And also if you're looking uh, for more of the tactical strategies or inspirations, if you are a yoga teacher, this week's podcast is especially for you. It's an interview. I'm very honored to bring on Gwen Fiora. Um, she is a yoga teacher and also trains yoga teachers as well. And you'll hear her story of success, of um, how she brought in students and clients and led to where she is now. And you also hear a little bit more about my story. It's the business of being a yoga teacher. So I'll um, leave the link to that podcast episode below as well. And you can do either or both of those to keep you inspired and moving forward so you can grow your wellness business, you can help more people and fill your cup as well because really that's what life's all about is for me anyways, helping as many people as I can and enjoying life in the process. Okay, so I'm so excited for all this. I will see you next week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Okay, bye for now.